I'm Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show. We're here at the 2018 Dallas International Film Festival, and we are speaking with Lane Garrison from the film The Iron Orchard. <laughs> now, Lane, you talked about in during the roundtable that this was a very grueling experience. Uh, what made it grueling? Well, it, it, hands down, it was the hardest shoot of my life and the most rewarding shoot of my life. You know, you're dealing with a period piece. It covers from late 30s to early 50s. So it spans 20 years of a man's life. And, you know, when you shoot film, you don't shoot in order most of the time. So I was jumping from a uh, late mid 40s man in a fat suit in 114 degree heat to playing a college boy and bouncing back and forth. You know, we were working on an indie budget. So there was no time to really think it was go 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 outfit change wardrobe change change emotions change the tone of my voice where i was at emotionally and uh and then you had west texas it was literally 114 degrees 10 days straight in our shoot well, i feel like west texas is, is like a character unto itself oh, we couldn't have shot this movie anywhere else and when you see the film you feel it right. you feel the heat you feel the landscape you feel the pain that the men who built America and started that industry went through. And um, our cinematographer was actually from Paris, France. And when he got to West Texas, he wanted to shoot all day and all night because he was so fascinated with the light out there and the landscape. And everyone who's seen the films complimented the uh, cinematography. Oh, You've seen it, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's incredible. And that's because he loved the West Texas landscape. Now, did you know much about the oil industry in Texas? Yeah, so my dad, growing up when I was a kid, was a roughneck in the oh, summers. So I used to go out to Odessa when I was little. So I knew about it. I didn't know the work that went into it, but I remember the heat and the smell. And um, so really, for me, I went out there about a month and a half early so I could work on a rig and get out there and sort of live that life and get in that world. So I learned more there than I did as a kid. Well, I figure that's an education all unto itself as well. Oh yeah. So yeah. So, what is your what is your favorite part about this film? The favorite part? Yeah. God, I, the whole the entire movie. It's the best thing I've ever done. It's the best film I've ever been a part of. But I think my favorite part of it is that it was made in Texas by Texans. Our directors from Texas. Our, our, uh, minus our DPs from Paris and not Paris, Texas, but our writer, the writer of the novel, Tom Pendleton was from Texas, Cherry De Leon, uh, myself, I'm from Dallas, and we, you know, we set it in West Texas, and we could have done this film on the budget we did. I mean, you've seen right. it. It looks like a $30 million movie, and it was on an indie budget, and that's because all of West Texas gave us their oil rigs, their cars, a hotel, food, their land, so we could have done it anywhere else. What was your favorite car to drive in this movie? Definitely the 50, uh, I think it was a 54 Corvette. <laughs> yeah, they told me that I wasn't allowed to floor the, the car and we were out on an oil rig and you'll see it, the scene, oh, yeah. that you saw that scene? Oh, yeah. I was supposed to lightly drive away, and right. that was not happening. I know you look like you're having uh, flashbacks to Ferris Bueller, where they're stealing That's the car. What I thought about. <laughs> when I got in that car, I was like, "Oh my God, I feel like Ferris Bueller. I'm taking off." So that one, and then I I drove like a five hundred thousand dollar Cadillac, that big red car. That was the first Cadillac they made AC in. That thing was like driving a tank. But I mean, I was just cruising down the road, going, "This car is worth more than my entire existence." It was awesome. <laughs> nice. All right, so at that nerd show, we always like to ask every filmmaker a very nerdy question. Yeah. And this year's nerdy question, <laughs> if you could have a superpower or a weapon of choice within the nerd universe to fight the forces of evil, what would that be for you? <laughs> oh my god, superpower? I mean, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, I'd have the ability to fly, because if you're a nerd, sure. you, you're, you're going to get beat up, so you got to fly away. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Yeah, we do have a lot of people like, are you trying to influence us with the lightsaber microphone when we ask that question? Like, not at all, but a lightsaber is a good weapon, too. Lightsaber is a good go-to. Exactly. Secondary weapon. Exactly. Well, thanks, Lane. Thank you, guys. It was a great film. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Appreciate it, guys.